So earlier today, um, I had a delivery from Juju B. Um, I did film me opening it, but um, I had to go to my son halfway through and the video wasn't that great in the end. So I just thought, kids are in bed now, I'm going to try again to do a little video about um, some of the new products that I have. Um, in front here I have the uh, Shoreline Super V, um, the Olive Rose B Sporty and the Forever Backpack from the Ever Collection in Brulee. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the prints, um, what looks nice together and um, do a little bit of a comparison um, of sizes of some of the bags. Um, I've got the Be Pumped and um, a few other bags that I can do a bit of a comparison on. Um, Be Supplied as well I have um, and the Sassy. So those are the ones I'm going to do a comparison on today. So first of all, this is the Shoreline Super Bee. It is a stunning, stunning bag. I really love it. The print is gorgeous. A really lovely summer bag. I know a lot of people have been saying it's really lovely for the summer. Um, to have it as a swim bag or a beach bag. Um, inside quite a pretty lining it's um, a lovely shade of blue with little white diamonds on and I actually really like the back as well um, with the plain blue it's hard to, to show it's really pretty um, I'm using um, an insert um, that I bought a few releases ago it's perfection Really lovely bag. Really happy with it. And um, I also got today um, some B sets. I got the um, Shoreline B set, of course, because I just thought with a little strap that's going to look really nice as a little handbag just to pop out and about with the medium. Oh, so pretty. I think the green is going to go really nicely with Olive Rose. But all the colours are going to bring out so many of the prints. It's a really versatile one. Really lovely. Um, and I got Wallflower, which is really pretty. I think this one will go really nicely with the stone from the other collection, but I don't have anything in that yet to compare it to. But look inside, it's so pretty. Wow. The camera's kind of showing it as more of a powder pink, but I would say definitely kind of almost a salmon, very light salmon pink. It's kind of a peachy colour, but every light I look at it looks a bit different, so it's really hard to tell. But it's really, really pretty, the wallflower. I think I really wanted it in a hobo bee as well, but I had to stop somewhere. Really pretty. I think it's just pretty. Really happy with that. Um, and so today I've been using my Olive Rose B Sporty and it's been absolutely amazing. I love the B Sporty and um, to be able to get one in a non Toki print is fantastic. I love Toki. Um, but I usually use those bags more for like my kids and things, mini bees, um, itty bitty bees. I'm more into um, the more grown up prints, I guess now. Um, well, I try and be grown up anyway. So I've been using this, so um, I've had it packed up today. Um, I'll just go through some of the things inside. Um, I've got lots of the rose gold um, pieces in there. So I can just show you how they look against um, the print. Um, so I've got... A little bit of whimsical watercolour, which is just gorgeous. Oh, the light in here is not doing it justice. But that goes so nicely. Um, and I've got some Sakura Swirl as well in there. 
think I've left my rose coloured glass in the other room, so I won't be able to show you that. Um, but this does give you an idea of just how beautiful, I just love the rose gold collection, it's my favourite collection. I just think it's stunning. I think they've done really well. Um, but yeah, I really love that. Um, oh, just look. <laughs> it's beautiful. And then the um, Forever backpack, which I haven't used yet, but I'm really looking forward to because it just looks like it's going to pack really nicely. Um, if we look in the main bag here. Ah, that's where I put all the packaging. It's fantastic with all these little compartments. Really love that. Love how it's double layered because I'm quite a vertical packer so I think this is going to work really well for me. Um, it's got a big slot at the back. Um, you could put your laptop or tablet in there probably, um, or a changing pad. Um, two big pockets at the back, I would say perfect for nappies. Um, and another two little slots um, here. And one big open pocket at the front which has got the little bag that you can keep the bag in for the vegan leather. Um, and then on the front, got a little pocket here, still got some packaging in there, just got one little key fob, oh, let me move it back a little bit so you can see, and um, one little key fob there, and it's just like an open pocket, there's no internal organisation in there. Um, on the side. snap closures. Um, I haven't tried putting any bottles in yet. I'm going to do a proper video, I think, um, showing you exactly what fits in there. But I'm really curious to see if a Be Rich fits in there. I'm going to just try quickly. Let's see. Ooh, I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> Like it's made for it. The Be Rich fits in there. I'm sure a variety of bottles will fit in, although it's quite it's quite thin. It's kind of a strange shape. Perhaps it's not designed for bottles, I'm not sure. Um, same on the other side. And on the back, you've got space for your change pad, and it's kind of a really soft, squishy. Um, changing pad, which is great because it's really light. It slides inside quite nicely. Um, and then on the top, you've got like a tech pocket. It's got the felt lining, and that goes all the way. Well, not quite all the way to about here, I think. really lovely bag. I'm looking forward to using that. Um, I think that's going to be a great bag for... I probably can use that like as hand luggage. I think that would be really nice. Um, the only thing it's missing is a grab handle. Um, I do find like when I pick it up, I do feel like it needs a grab handle because I'm taking like the backpack strap and I just feel like <laughs> it needs one. But... Maybe, maybe they'll come up with a new one that has that. Um, so, uh, let's do some size comparisons. Let's move these things out of the way. So, let's have a look. Forever back up. Let's zip you back up. And we'll compare you against the Beepop. Which I would say is its most comparable bag, size-wise. I think the B pump is a little bit bigger. Um, where are we going to get this one? I might have to. Okay, I completely just cut myself off there while I was um, trying.
trying to pick up my camera, but I just thought if I hold my camera, it'll be a lot easier to get it all in the frame. So here we go, the um, Forever Next to the Bee Pumped. The Bee Pumped definitely feel like it's bigger, although perhaps a little bit shorter. Um, let's go around the side view. Very, very similar though. It's just that the Bee Pumped has bigger pockets. Um, on the sides and things, so I think it would definitely hold more. And I think it is slightly wider. Let's have a look. It's really hard to say actually. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much the same. idea of the size. And next let's go for the little bee supplied. Um, much bigger. Oh they look really pretty together. <laughs> oh my goodness. From the side. Of see, get an idea of size depending on what bag you have. Next to the sassy. Again, those prints just look beautiful together. I would say actually, if I'm going to travel, this would be my hand luggage. Beautiful, match made in heaven. And then it's already been sitting next to the sporty, but let's have a go with it as well. You see. I, it's really weird actually, in the, in the olive rose, the sporty seems smaller, I think it's because the material is so soft, it's really, because it's like the, um, is it chrome, I think, yeah, um, it's, it's just a completely different material, but I really like it, it's really nice, but they look really nice together as well. So I'm really happy with all the bags I've bought recently, I'm going to look forward to using them, I think the, um, Olive Rose is going to go with so many different prints. Look at it with Rosy Posy. Oh, it's beautiful. And I think the brulee goes with everything. It's a really versatile colour. Because all the prints that I think look good with the stone, and I was really worrying about whether I should have got the stone instead, um, but they all seem to look good with brulee as well. Um, I, think, I do think the wallflower would look better with the stone, though. It's like that lovely grey. Um, it's definitely a warmer print. But just stunning how all the prints will kind of match in with each other. It makes me so excited. So anyway, that's enough for this video. And I'm hopefully going to make some more videos now. Um, it's taken me a lot of courage to do this. Really, really not sure what I'm doing. But I really, I just love the brand. And the bags make me ridiculously excited. So I thought I'd give it a go. Have a little bit of a video um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.